And there's one more thing that I would like to talk about today. So uh, last time we explored some changes by NDLA that they have done to course presentation. And <laughs> they've reached out to me because uh, if you remember, I had some, some uh, bugs and that was because they have two different repositories for every library and um, yeah, it was kind of messed up. So in fact, it was my mistake, but <laughs> caused by some confusion. So it works without crashing, if you remember that. And today uh, we'll have a look at virtual tour, which um, has also been um, yeah patched or, or uh, updated by NDLA. It's not merged into the official code yet, but here is uh, the pull request to do it. And um, you can see new features here. So um, I'll share the link maybe so you can check because in just a second, I'll close that page and we will just like last time um, try to create um, some content, some virtual tour with uh, the new features. Um, and they're not all listed here. And um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't given that much. Um, I haven't looked at it much before because I hardly ever used virtual tour before. So I don't know the differences, but I'll try to open like um, one screen of the original version, one screen with a new version, so I know what the differences are. But um, it says you can open um, text content as a poster in the scene. Not sure what that is. Um, you can show navigation buttons as hotspots in the scene. Uh, I thought that was possible before, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, I've seen that in the preview, so you can lock content. So... Um, you can really have like you can have hidden spots. I know that I've seen that uh, hidden spots you can define, and if people click there, um, it doesn't have to be hidden, but you could could hide them. And if people click there, um, then they have to answer a question before they can continue. So you can build escape rooms, for example. Um, this is uh, something I understand. So you can now have multiple choice questions as well, H for few blanks, and in theory, I guess it could be again uh, many more content types. You can have a scene introduction, um, some storybook, which I don't know what that would be. And um, yeah, the, the rest is some, some technical updates that are not that relevant. Um, yeah, so um, you can have a look at that one. <coughs> Maybe we can do it together. So I'll try to, to um, create stuff with Virtual Tool, but again, I haven't used it much. So um, you can also tell me on the chat, try this, try that. I want to see how that works. So we can do that. But now, first of all, uh, I will have to create a second screen. Let's go to h5e.org and I can log in. I am logged in and we'll open the um, the official version of Virtual Tour first. So there it is, Virtual Tour 360. And uh, yeah, let's put that here and we don't need that one. And here you can see my desktop and we want that to be there. So this is my my uh, one of my local platforms, and I here I've installed the libraries now from the correct repositories, and uh, I still had to fix one thing, but um, it is working. So you can see Andy LA Virtual Tour 360 here. So oh, I wanna, this one I wanted to have. So on the right hand side we have the official version, on then the left hand side we have the Andy LA version, and um, yeah, this looks pretty much the same. So let's have a look. So we have, okay, first of all, we have playlists here. That is different. And if I open that, um, I guess that will be audio playlists. Oh yeah. Um, okay, playlist title, let's call it playlist. I'm not sure what that is. Let's add, do I have, yeah, I guess I have some audio file. Let's have a look, uh, music, samples. Oh no, I'll just put in some random samples here. Not that important. So maybe a second one. Oh, that would be interesting. These are pretty short simple. I, I know you will know here, <laughs> hear them, or you would hear them if I had it activated. Okay, so you can have uh, playlists. Okay. Um, yeah, the rest might be the same. Let's have a look at the behavioral settings. Uh, oh, there is a difference already. So... Ah, I see. So before you can have, you could have uh, audio in the background. And now you can choose to have the playlist instead. So you can choose, ah, okay, I get that. So I could upload one song here, for example, and then here I could choose uh, my playlist. Okay, I call it playlist, yeah. 
Okay, uh, scene running for like display scores button. Let's just activate that. I don't know what that is. And the rest seems to be... Yeah, that, the rest is the same here. So, so we now have some playlists to choose from and some scores button. Uh, let's have a look how that turns out. So, and then let's create a new scene. So, yeah, I know oh, one thing I, I have checked. So, uh, yeah, let's go here first. Um, when we create a scene, we have to put an image in the background. And with the original version, we have 360 images and static images. And I know that many people, which is pretty normal uh, and uh, totally fully understandable, don't know what 360 images are because there are kind of multiple versions of 360 images. And uh, for example, the one that I could take with my with my smartphone is like a panorama, which is like really just a strip, but um, uh, it's just like a long image. It looks a little funny because um, of all the angles, but it's just a long strip. Um, and there are spherical images, so um, which you need the real 360 camera with two lenses, and they they uh, yeah yeah <laughs> it's not really not 360; it's more like 720. I don't know. Um, you can you can see all the surroundings and in different angles. So and it's hard to maybe, maybe let's have a look at it um, because I have it here on my desktop. So here on my desktop, I have three images. So um, I have this panoramic. That's the first one I was talking about. I, I took that picture yesterday with my smartphone in a city called Braunschweig in Germany. And um, yeah, you see, it's just the long strip and yeah, the angles are a little funny um, Yeah, here, for example, but it, basically it's just a long strip. And if I upload that one um, to, to the normal version, uh, panoramic, that's it, of, of HFP and give it a title, uh, if I have to, let's call it one. And say done, you'll see that this looks, it doesn't look too great because everything is distorted now because this version can't handle panoramic images. It really needs so called spherical images. And um, we can have a look at that as well. So I have one here. This is a spherical image, and you can already see okay, this looks different. So everything is round because uh, it was really taken with two lenses, and um, it lenses then can look up and down and everywhere. This is how it looks if it's projected. And uh, yeah, H5V, the original version, needs those. But uh, let's close that. So in the new version, um, if I create a new scene, so in this version from NDLA, I can also I have three ver options now. So I can choose panoramic image, if I know it is a panoramic image from my camera, for example. And I can call it one as well. And um, I can add that. And let's say I'm done. And you see, it now works. So I, I can scroll scroll or move up and down, but um, it now works perfectly. So I can, uh, yeah, it's stitching, of course. Looks uh, not perfect, um, but, it, but it works. So, and, and this is not HFV, this has been my lousy Samsung camera. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you can use panoramic images. Uh, but more options, I don't know. So let's edit this scene here. Uh, how would I do that? Here, I can edit that one and edit that scene as well. Uh, scene and edit, because I'm not sure what else has changed. So, scene description, scene description. Ah, okay. We can give it a scene description and uh, show it when you start for the first time. Okay, I get that. That has changed, but that's not too fancy. Uh, or it could be. So when you enter, like if you think of an escape room, you could give some initial clues. So yeah, let's, let's say in a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. Uh, we want to see that. Okay, then we could do that here as well, but then what will happen here again? Let's see the difference then. Um, Okay, we have that button style is the same, audio track uh, also the same audio. Okay, we can choose a playlist here as well. And we can choose to restart the audio when the season is reopened. That makes sense, I guess. Okay, um, let's say I'm done and let's say I'm done and let's see how that looks now. I wanna see the difference. 
Okay, let's hit save here and let's hit save here. Oh, I need a title. <laughs> Damn it. Title, title. Yeah, Matthias is commenting and he says panoramic images are much easier to use. Yeah, they are definitely. And this makes totally total sense because... Um, oh, Tuttle. Tuttle's also nice. Uh, yeah, I already see the difference. So um, here I would have to click on the eye for, to see the scene description. And um, on the other, it pops up here as well. And I can, can reopen it as well. Yeah. Okay, so um, definitely, yeah, it makes sense to have panoramic images. Definitely, it's a great addition. Yeah, okay, so we've seen that. What else? So we've seen we can have um, those, and yeah, let's have a look at the title bar here. So I could go to scenes, of course, which um, I could use to add other scenes. Text we have on both, we can add images on both, audio, video summaries and single choice sets and as promised here are multiple choice and fill in the blanks questions um let's just try fill in the blanks fill in the blanks and yeah foo and the magical abc or ab let's just add some random multiple choice question yeah fill in the blanks yeah i could i can't add that here okay so we have that um, there was a scores button. I guess this will only be visible if I have something that can be scored. Now I have something. Um, what else could we do? We could add a new scene. Oh, there's a bug. Definitely. Look what's happening. I'm not sure. Now I've, that I've added this, this is weird. Okay. Maybe I found a bug. It seems to go back to some sort of spherical projection i'm not sure okay uh yeah but so we have that and um oh yeah we also have this this uh, hidden stuff um how would we do that so let's say i want to add a hidden field uh how would i do that go to c maybe no do i have to do something here did i miss some behavioral setting question type nope uh, I know I've seen that before. Um, Matthias is asking what this home button is. Good catch. Um, yeah, I guess so. We are at the start scene, so this is probably a button to go back to the first scene. Yeah. Okay. Uh, maybe we need... Do we have to have an image, maybe? Image? No, that is just an image. Label settings. Ah, okay, I get it. So uh, we would have that here as well. Okay, it's in the label settings. Okay, um, yeah. Then can we just? Uh, I don't know, how would we do like an an invisible? Well, let's go step by step. So uh, we can add questions. Let yeah, we, we can't do that in the old version. Maybe we can. Um, Ignore that for now, but save it here. And again, a hole in the ground, yeah. Ah, okay, so here's fill in the blanks now. As expected, let's say B, wrong, okay. Okay, this isn't resize, so this should maybe, I'm not sure if it, yeah, I think it would make sense to resize it to the height of the, the content maybe. At least, and now we have this show score summary button. So if I click on that, okay, I get a, get a, an overview of everything that I have answered. This makes sense if I have all the questions scattered across all types of scenes. Maybe have an overview of what I have completed. Okay, um, yeah, then let's try to add this um, hidden field or uh, whatever we would call it. So maybe go to the new scene first. Let's say we have like a hidden room somewhere here. Um, let's call it the next scene. I don't know. And label settings. Um, yeah, we want to show it as a hotspot. Oh, and now we have tons of options. 
show hotspot when mouse is hovering, set the hotspot to be tappable for uh, keyboard use, code for interaction, if not empty, we use this to input the code. Okay, this is like find the solution somewhere else and then enter it here to open open the lock and a hint for the interaction code. Um, let's say, no, we don't want to show anything. Let's just um, have that here. Oh, I have to add a new scene, of course. Um, I'm creating a new scene and let's now choose this other image, maybe this spherical image, which is 360. Let's call it scene two. Scene description, no, we won't. No, we don't add anything here. Okay. And we're done. And now, okay, ah, I see. Now I can choose where this should be located. Let's maybe put it above that, that building. A friend of mine lives in that building, by the way. Um, okay, this way. Okay, this is our hidden field now. So um, if you wanted to visit that person, maybe you would have to click here. And I guess if I now save it, I can click there to get to the, the second scene, but it won't be visible. So we could have, oh, what's happening now? Change me. Well, why, 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 why were they not saved? Oh, they were saved. Okay, but I get, um, you see the, the, um, uh, the pointer changes. So I can still, even though it's invisible, I can see there is something that I can click on. So this will bring me to that scene. And just to check, if I click to go start scene, it will go back to the start scene. Okay. So, um, oh, let's see. Why did I have, oh, when, when I click on it, it gets that uh, border. Okay. Okay. Uh, Matthias says, as for the resize problem, get the same behavior in interactive video, which probably makes sense when you think about long questions. Yeah, and I was, yeah, of, of course, but um, I wasn't thinking to rescale the whole content type, but at least scale the the the, um, the container to the the height of the the content. So that was what I was thinking of. Okay, so let's modify that. So oh no, uh, I didn't. No, no, go back. Scene one. I wanted to edit that one. How can I edit it? This way I can edit it. Okay, uh, label settings. So I chose show. Um, Show hotspot when mouse is hovering. I guess then it will be colored or something. Tabable, yeah, okay. Uh, we know that. Code for interaction. Let's one, two, three, our secret code. And no hint. Let's see what happens then. But I guess now we'll... Yeah, I got a hole in the ground. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, now we see it. It is blue, it is hover, because I, I checked that. And now I get that. Okay, which could it be? Two, three, four. No. One, two, three. Unlock. Okay, perfect. It's unlocked. Okay, and then I have it. Okay, and I can then I can enter it. What happens if I go back? Can I enter it again? Or do I have to Okay, now it's just it's a store that the state is unlocked. Um yeah, that makes sense. So yeah, I think this um, would make sense to create uh, for, uh, for um, uh, what's it called? Uh, escape rooms. <laughs> okay, uh, so I'll, uh, where was that list? Um, here. What else has changed? Open content, show text as a poster in the scene. Yeah, we've seen that. So that was my uh, in a hole in the ground message. Show navigation buttons as hotspots. In the scene. Uh, oh yeah, this this is basically, um, I guess, this is a hotspot in the scene. Lock content, we've seen that. We've seen multiple choice. And I guess blanks is working as well. Scene introduction, no scene. Now what's the difference between scene introduction and open content show text as a poster in the method? What is scene introduction? Have I missed that? Scene introduction. Have I missed that? Did anyone notice? Yeah, Matthias is saying from a user perspective, clicking twice before you can go to the next 
seen as counterintuitive. Um, or did uh, you mean when I? Did you mean here? This was just the editor. Because because otherwise I I, I think it wasn't. Uh, we can check, but um, here to to edit it. Um, I have to click it once, and if I click it once and go to the next scene already, you you couldn't edit it anymore. So, I guess um, that is why the double click was here. <clears throat> you don't have to do that in the view; you just have to click it once. Um, yeah, I was. Oh yeah, scene introduction. What was scene introduction compared scene description? Hmm, I'm not sure what the difference is. And the playlists are not listed here. Extra feature. <laughs> Next feature. Okay, and adds. Storybook for easier development and testing. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Storybook. Storybook? Did I miss something? Storybook. Playlists. Now we have the playlists. That is the audio we can choose from. Yeah. I'm not sure what the what this uh, storybook is. Oh, when I entered the code. Okay. Uh, Matthias says, says uh, when, and I had to double click when I entered the code. Did I? Let's have a look at what happened. Enter the code, one through three, and unlock. Continue. No, I didn't have to double click. Let's reload. Here, I click once, that one opens. I click one through three, I click on unlock. It is unlocked, I click on continue, and boom, we're there. And if I go back and go, then go here again, I can just have to click once, I don't have to click twice. That was only in the editor. Not sure. Okay. Um, yeah, well, this is uh, the NDLA version of Virtual Tour. Maybe I've missed something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that storybook is. It sounds interesting, storybook, but um, I haven't found it. Um, yeah, maybe we'll learn more about it soon. Because uh, I know this is supposed to be included. We've seen that message before on uh, one of the HFE newsletters. But I don't know any time frame as usual. I am sorry. Yeah, but that's it. That is Virtual Tour done by NDLA or approved by NDLA. Hope you like it. So, any more opinions? Matthias says, great additions. Yeah, I think so too. I like him. Again, this, there's this late glitch in the editor, but I guess that might just be a small thing. Let's see if I can reproduce it. Uh, so, what, what did I do here? Um, I added something, I guess. Maybe, maybe some text. Let's add some text to check. Oh, here's something else. Info icon, text icon. Oh, yeah, but that's just the... Ah, okay, yeah, you can have an eye. Like that. I'm not sure. I can't reproduce it now, but you saw it. <laughs> there was a bug. <laughs> um, is that starting position? Yeah, that is... That's all. So click once. Click twice, go in the editor. Yeah, I'm not sure if that needs to be there in the editor, but okay, why not? <coughs> yeah, um, <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay, um, oh, it just took me one hour. I thought it would take longer today, but um, yeah, that was my part, I guess. If you have any more questions that I might answer, if you have a problem with HIV somewhere, um, I'd gladly try to help, but otherwise I'm I'm out of program for today. <clears throat> and my voice is getting a little scratchy. Petsy is saying, I like the panorama picture and the secret code for adventure games. Yeah, me too. Definitely a great additions. So uh, panorama definitely makes sense because um, it's not 
well, well of course if you have a, one of these 360 cameras I and mean, it's easy to take those pictures but otherwise uh, you, you can do it with with normal pictures but it's you have to stitch them together with some extra software it's not that easy yeah I like that and of course the hidden the the um, hiding the the fields that you have to find make sense and also have that code there for for escape rooms pretty cool <clears throat> um, Jesus is asking is there a content safe state for a virtual tour um, I don't know but we can have a look so let's close this one maybe I don't think so but uh, of course we can have a look so 360 um, let's have it and here's the app and we can look for get current state no it's not in there no no, it doesn't. It doesn't um, allow to store it. That would have to be added. You're thinking of like long-term escape rooms. <laughs> More questions. I'll gladly answer. And of course, we could have, um, this is the original version, maybe NDLA have added it. Uh, let's see, pull requests. Uh, let's look here. Uh, da -da -da -da, there it is. And we want to have that one. And let's check again. Nope, not in there. <coughs> Definitely not in there. Somebody would have to add that.